Uh, once again, I had chances. Missed 10 foul shots. Shooting percentage, not good. Three-point shooting, not good. Played hard. Played aggressive. Uh, gave up only 10 offensive rebounds, which is pretty good to them. Problem was we gave up one or two right there at the end of the game. Um, I thought Lene played extremely well. 12 point, you know, she, she's getting better. She continues to get better. And uh, I thought she did a great job. thought Linda Stepney did a great job. Um, you know, it's a little frustrating. You look at the hustle points. Second chance points, us 13, them 10. Fast break points, us 10, them 6. And then you look at the bench points, 31 to 5. Same old story. Going to be the same story all year. We're not getting much off the bench. Just not getting much off the bench. And if you look, we played two girls 40 minutes, Lene 32, and Avery would have played 40 if she was still, didn't get in foul trouble. That hurt us too at times, Avery in foul trouble. Uh, you know, Baylor has a good team, play hard, got a lot of people that can score. Uh, you know, I, I thought our girls battled. I, I really did. I thought our girls battled. It's just a little frustrating right now. And I know our players are frustrated and – you know, we just don't, we're just not hitting, getting a stop when we need. You know, I said to the team again after the Texas game, and I said again today, I said, we're playing hard to win. Now we just don't know, this team don't know how to win yet. Last year's team knew how to win. This year's team doesn't know how to win yet because they don't know how to get a big stop, get a big score, get a big rebound, take a charge on a big play and all that. Instead, we're fouling, giving up a couple offense rebounds, taking a bad shot. I thought early in the – Early in the game, we're taking bad shots. It was creating. That's how they got those fast breaks. Bad shots creates fast break. But uh, you know, you know, we hadn't had an easy start on the road, Oklahoma, on the road, number three, Texas, and then come back and play number five, Baylor. But you know, I told the girls. I mean, we prove we can play with all of them. I mean, we definitely can play with all of them. It's just getting a couple more bodies and getting a couple more players in. When Tiana left early with her two fouls, it seemed like it took you a while to find someone to fill that spot on both ends of the floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we got a lead. We got a two-point lead, and then, you know, they run what I call a nose play where they go, well, we weren't weak side and ran into a pick and, and, and watched the name hit a three and took the lead. I mean, it's just – and it's from our inexperienced kids, and, and it's – you know, they're going to make those mistakes. I understand that. But, man, it's a critical part of the games. And, uh, you know, I just felt if we could have kept the lead and got Avery back in there under four, then I thought that would have put a lot of pressure on Baylor. But, you know, we gave up the lead before that. Yeah, you know, it's been that the whole way. You know, when we got to go to the bench, other than Crystal Leary, it's tough. It's tough. It's it, it just tough. You know, it, it, and, and, you know, you look at Baylor's bench point, 31, ours five. I mean, that's, you you go back and you look at Texas bench point and our bench point. I mean, it, it, it's going to be like this all year. We just don't have the experience coming off the bench, and we don't have people concentrating coming off the bench. You know, we bring people off the bench, and they're getting layups because they're standing there not looking behind them. Uh, I mean, it's just stuff like that. Or we'll run into a pick, give up a wide-open three, or we don't box out or we don't rotate. I mean, it's just it's frustrating to the veterans, and it's frustrating to me. And, and, and here's the thing, man. If they worked harder in practice, I wouldn't mind it. But the same ones not working hard in practice are making mistakes. But i got to play people because I need bodies. I need bodies in there. We got players on there. I'm talking as a unit. Yeah, I mean, you know, it, it, it's last year's team. You had a veteran team. You know, you had five seniors that left along with Bria Holmes and and, and uh, Linda and Avery and Pooh. You know, Crystal Leary. That team knew how to win. This team now, you know, it's just they're going to take certain people out of the game, and, and, and the other people aren't stepping up. And, and, and you know, when you need a big defensive stop, it takes all five to get a big de de defensive stop, not just three or four. It just takes all five, and we're just not getting that done. We're just not getting it done. Did you 
So again, what can happen if Linda's a little bit more aggressive offensively? Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, poor Linda got this. She, she, Linda can play, man, but she's just playing a lot of minutes. And, you know, I just, you know, it is what it is. I thought she had a lot of energy at the end of the game, though. I was glad to see that. You know, we're, right before halftime, we're running a play, and one of our new players screws up. I mean, it, I'm, you know, I mean, it makes us look like we're not organized, and, and we're running a, a play. And they don't run the play, and it messes it all up. Right there at the end of the game, we're running another play, and one of the players don't run it. I mean, it's just stuff like that. It's lack of concentration. That's what I mean by not getting over the hump to win. Because there's certain parts of the game you got to execute, whether it be offensively or defensively, and stay focused. And we, we just don't have enough of those people that, that does that. A couple of minutes, you had an opportunity if you wanted to to put them on the foul line at a one-on-one -on -one situation. Um, well, when we're down two, when we're down two, we weren't going to do that. I mean, once we cut it to two again, we weren't going to do that. And then, uh, if we could have scored that time before, then we was going to do that. But you know, when down two, you know, we still had like 15 seconds if we just got a stop and we gave up two offensive rebounds. I mean, we got the first stop, they shot. We got the second stop. <laughs> We didn't rebound. They got it, and then we had to foul. So, I mean, we were looking ahead at that, but it wasn't the time. But then when we didn't, you know, we didn't box out and all that, and then it, and it really didn't matter. Well, she plays hard. She, you know, she wants to be, be better. I'll tell you what, the other thing, she works hard in practice. She cares. I mean, it, it, it's amazing if you get somebody to work hard that cares. Probably going to get better. Probably going to get better. You know, they're probably going to get better as a player. When you don't work hard and you really don't care, you're probably not going to get better. And she cares about the team, and she cares about her, what she does, and she takes it personal. That's why she's going to get better. And, uh, you know, our, our, she, she she's just kind of getting better and better and better, and she'll continue to get better. She's only a sophomore. She's going to continue to get better. Anything else for Coach? All right, thank you.